When I first met Yoda, he was nine months old and he just stole my heart and he was very scared, very timid. But once he came out of his shell, he's just been amazing. How is you, buddy? He's our little miracle. He was this cute little fluffy thing with spindly legs and knobby knees and I immediately fell in love with him. Yoda came to us uh, several months ago from our friends at Second Chance. We were excited to get him because we thought that he would uh, fit in great with our counseling program and he certainly did. You know, he was an instant hit with all of our kids. But a, a few months ago, a couple months ago actually, he got really sick. Our supervisor Kelly had notified me that he just wasn't acting right. And as we monitored him throughout the day, we noticed that he was sneezing and that he was starting to cough more. And so we immediately took him into the vet. And upon examination from the vet, it was determined that he was developing a very severe case of pneumonia. Um, we put him on antibiotics and he didn't get any better. So the next day they did another series of x-rays and some more tests and they didn't like what they saw in the x-rays and we determined that we were gonna take him up to Oklahoma State University. We got him up there in the nick of time. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for the antibiotics, Yoda probably would have died. He was in heart failure when we got him up there. His lungs were full of fluid, and, um, and they were very concerned as to whether or not he would make it. But over the next 48 hours, he started to improve, and that's when they started to do the um, sonograms on the heart and all the heart tests, and they realized that he his heart was two and a half times the size it should have been. There was this valve called the PDA that should have closed after birth and it didn't. And so as a result, there was a big red flag that came up. Most people would have just euthanized him. But for us, he's more than just a sheep. I mean, he's, he's a, a, a precious life and I believe that all life is precious. And he works with kids in our counseling program, so he's part of our family. We knew that he had some health issues, but we didn't, certainly didn't realize that he was gonna have a heart condition. And so OSU, in performing a wide battery of tests, discovered if we did nothing, he certainly would die. Originally, uh, Dr. Baumwart, the cardiologist, was going to try to close the PDA with a coil, but when they got in there, they realized that it was way too big. That was when they came to me and said, you know, we need to prepare you that there's, you know, unless you want to do open heart surgery, there's really nothing that we can do. And I thought to myself, why wouldn't we want to do open heart surgery? I mean, he's part of our family. And if there's a chance that we can heal him, all right, that we can repair this, then we should try. Dr. Ducat, who was the surgeon, um, has done this successfully in dogs and cats before. And her biggest concern was that, you know, if there was a tear, we wouldn't be able to stop the bleeding, and I was gonna need to make a decision about, you know, what, what, what were we gonna do with him. Well, it turns out, when she got in there and they were able to split his ribs apart, and they could see the PDA immediately and they also saw how large it was. And it was fascinating when she talked to me about um, how they actually did it and the time frame that it took that as soon as they closed it, his blood pressure started to return to normal. He was in heart failure when they went into the surgery. He did have fluid on his lungs and some other issues. And uh, it was a complete success. It took longer than expected, but I'm glad it did because they learned a lot from it. And now uh, Yoda's here at Ranch and Rescue in cardiac rehab, and he's doing amazing. This is Yoda's scar from his surgery, his open heart surgery, where they went in and spread open his ribs. He's on limited activity right now, and he will be for the next six months. <laughs> Yoda is just a phenomenal partner for us in therapy. And one of the great things I love about Yoda is because he's young, and because he has a lot of energy, he, um, it's really great for us to relate that to clients that maybe have a hard time regulating their energy. He's got a couple of more weeks to go before he goes back up to OSU and gets his uh, checkups to make sure that everything is healing with the heart and that sort of thing. And certainly, you know, this is why we say at Ranch End Rescue, it's animals helping people and people helping animals. Hopefully he can have a full and productive life and he will help a lot of people, especially kids, in the years to come and that's our goal and that's our wish for him.